And Beatrice, you, you um, speaking earlier about the opportunities as well. So when you're going in and doing maintenance work and and looking at um, uh, like damper mold issues, like having that holistic approach and and seeing what you can do, like be pro proactive and see what improvements you can make at the same time, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's always it's an opportunity as you're going in anywhere. I guess for the residents, if it's their home, you're disturbing them quite mm. a lot. So if you can, as part of the past 20, 35 process, it is a single point assessment, which gives you that detailed information as well. So it's even if as a client, you perhaps can't financially fund everything, just doing that survey with the mindset of we want to retrofit in 20, 30 years time, whether it's carbon, energy use, it just means you're it's that proactivity mm -hmm. and it's kind of the killing the bird with two stones that yeah. we're going to collect the stock condition data because a lot of clients don't know their stock yeah. you know they've lost resident liaison officers over the years mm. residents when they see you as a surveyor they're happy to see you because they just want someone to mm. listen to or vent and you kind of you build that relationship and yes. it's yeah. just yeah investing in it as an asset because in the future we could reach the point where properties of a certain rating they have a zero asset and yeah. even as an owner occupier you could have paid off your mortgage and realized oh i've got an asset that i can't do anything with anymore mm -hmm. because i haven't invested in improving it mm. so it's we want to avoid that for our clients both sectors and it's yeah. it just gives us an opportunity to yeah just think ahead and actually get yeah we can really enjoy it <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a new industry to be a part of yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent you mentioned PAS 2035 there, 